Welcome to 12964 Southeast Ethan Loop, located in Mountain Ridge Estates. This custom home is 3,152 square feet, four bedrooms, two and a half baths. It sits on two acres, has beautiful Cascade Mountain views that are totally unobstructed, a great view of Powell Butte, a triple car attached garage that also leads to an RV bay that's attached. It has a 16 foot door and is 33 feet deep with extra shop space on the side. We'll see the inside there. The driveway is completely paved. You can see those seamless gutters. The landscaping is immaculate. The crab tree, the crab apple tree there is in bloom. Just a beautiful property in an awesome neighborhood with a home that's in perfect condition. Just a quick little perspective from the front porch. You'll see on the drone video and photos on a clear day looking past Powell Butte that's straight ahead. That ridge line behind has the most, some of the most beautiful views of the Cascades and the Three Sisters and this slightly sloped lot gives commanding views from every room in the house that's western facing. Standing in the foyer of the great room This great room has an extremely tall vault which allows some of the best views to the west you'll ever see, especially looking across Powell Butte. The dining area can fit one of the biggest tables you could even buy, whether it's even if it's the more square layout. With the ad leafs open, you can really fit a bunch of people into this space comfortably. And it has that really beautiful view to the west. That's Powell Butte, and then on a clear day, all of the cascades behind it. The living room with a propane fireplace. And those big beautiful windows. And that ridge line right behind Pal Butte is where the three sisters would normally reside on a clear day. Today they're shrouded in clouds. And into this big beautiful kitchen with island and breakfast bar, propane, cooktop with a really cool range hood. In the corner there you have an appliance garage, two bay sink, under cabinet lighting, the pendant lights getting good light to the bar, a double oven setup. All the stainless appliances are in beautiful condition. The door that leads out to the backyard, that covered back deck. The 
This also has a really large pantry. Really well organized. The hardwood floors continue into that space. And these are all nine foot ceilings where it's not vaulted. The home does also have a fire suppression sprinkler system that is required by the CCNRs for the neighborhood. The utility slash mud room with utility sink and storage, the tile floors, all really nice for an area that's right off the garage as you come in to get cleaned up and any dirty clothes off so they don't get tracked into on the wood floors and carpet and everything else. The understairs storage that doubles as a coat closet on the way to the main floor master. The downstairs powder room perfectly centrally located within the floor plan on the main floor. And those same tile floors that you see in the utility slash mud room area that leads to the garage are in that powder room. A wide staircase leading up to the second floor so large furniture can get up to the three bedrooms up there easily. The main floor master with a beautiful private view onto some of the natural landscaping and also of the mountains right from your bed. Again, there's Pal Butte and the Cascades peek out to the left of that. This is a king-size bed, fits very comfortably with end tables. There is a ceiling fan. The tile floors and vanities, a double vanity with lots of space in the master bath. The tile surround on the jetted soaker tub. Also has a stand-up shower and the walk-in closet, well organized and spacious. There's a beautiful view from the jetted soaker tub onto some of the landscaping in the backyard. And the separate toilet room, it's spacious. It's not fully enclosed right now because there's not a door leading into that toilet room, but if somebody wanted to, it's all framed out and a door can be added very easily. Now on the landing for the second floor between the three guest bedrooms. One of the most beautiful views you'll ever see is from this landing on a clear day. You can see the edge of Powell Butte there. And just behind on that ridge line would be the sisters on a clear day. The largest of the upstairs bedrooms is now being utilized as a bonus room. It does have a closet. 
and a beautiful view. It's a large walk-in closet. Upstairs guest bathroom with that perfect layout that is double vanity with a separately enclosed toilet and shower room with a door so someone can be going to the bathroom or cleaning up while other people use the vanity, put on makeup or make their hair. Just gives a lot of flexibility for families or whenever you're entertaining with lots of friends staying over. Makes it function almost like two full bathrooms. Another of the upstairs guest bedrooms. Very spacious. That's a queen bed. And it fits in here with lots of room to spare. A nice window with a private view of the backyard. And there is a ceiling fan in this room as well. Good closet. And the last of the guest bedrooms. That's a full size bed, but a queen does fit really well. It has a great dormer with that view. Has plenty of space for other larger furniture too. Each of these three guest bedrooms are like guest bedroom suites. Just all really spacious. The home does have central vac also. You'll see those ports throughout on the wall in different locations. Standing inside the triple car garage that's attached, this gives you a really good perspective of all the extra storage that's available. Because it's a nice tall garage, there's the central vac, there's the door to the backyard, the panel, water heater and furnace and all of those items. Just an idea of how comfortably the vehicles fit. There's one in here and room for another. And they have storage going as well. This is where the husband parks his pickup. It's a crew cab half ton pickup. Fits very comfortably. And then out to the attached shop into the shop space, that 16-foot door. It's nice that all these garage doors have windows, allowing good natural light. All of the cabinetry was built by the homeowner, and it stays with the home. Lots of great light in here. There's even a ceiling fan, and that's an electric air handler for heat out here. The door out to the backyard. That is the thermostat for that unit. Just an awesome shop attached to your home for ease of access. You can fit a 33 foot motor coach or RV of any sort in here and still have room for your shop.
standing in the fenced backyard with covered patio. You can see the Trex deck here on the back covered patio, the same composite material is out front also. They've used all na native landscape and design for everything outside of the grassy areas and the few treed areas you see. The vast majority is still utilizing the juniper, native grasses, and sages for ease of maintenance. see that leads right into the kitchen and that grass area for the yard the one door on the left before the exterior cooling unit is into the triple garage and the one past goes into the RV garage and the RV garage has a pass-through door if you need to take any trailers or smaller the RV won't go through that door it's not tall enough but trailers and trucks and tractors and things like that can <laughs> 